Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to be making my own epoxy stickers and a dog park background with Copic markers in this video. And I'm going to start off with my stamp set, which is from Reverse Confetti. These cute little puppies got some great sentiments, and I'm using two dogs for inspiration. The black and white is my Vienna, and Bennett is her buddy. And they have very similar markings. His eyes aren't covered by his spots, but he has the same little tail thing that she has, the little circle right around her tail. So their markings are pretty close to each other, and I'm gonna color them as if the spots on Bennett's eyes are the same as Vanna's, because that's the way that they are in, uh, in the stamp set. So I'm gonna color them up quickly, and you can color the stamps with a lot of different mediums, except if you're going to make them into epoxy stickers this way, then you want to test to make sure that the medium doesn't bleed underneath. Copic marker doesn't seem to, but I've seen some water-based mediums that kind of get really mushy. And if you want something to stay distinct, then you want to use a medium that won't move. So I would suggest testing it out ahead of time and know ahead of time exactly what's going to happen to them when you put some of the Glossy Accents medium over top. So one dog, of course, is black and white, my little Vienna. And I'm gonna use a couple different grays to add a little bit of shading. You won't see a lot of the shading once you look through the sticker, through the, the epoxy that you're putting on top of it, but I can't help myself but shade things. So you can make them eat as simple or as complex as you would like to do. I'm just going to color them all in I am going to be trimming them out, fussy cutting right up to the very edge. So if you're doing this at home, you might want to even just go outside the edge. It's going to make your trimming a little bit easier, but since I'm doing this on a video, I don't like to do things messy if I can help it. So I'm trying to stay within the lines to color my little puppies. The little girl puppy has a bow in her hair, so I'm going to make her a little her little tummy checkerboard pattern match that and the little boy's wearing a bow tie just like Bennett's wearing a bow tie in his picture that you saw at the beginning of this video and then I'm going to put some quick color onto the, the little bowl and the bones but I'm going to use all three of these as stickers now why would one want to do a sticker because you know we can just glue things on this is just one of those things you can do for an effect on a card, because it lo actually looks really cute glued on top of a background and made to look as a sticker. Or you could actually make a bunch of stickers for your grandkids, because wouldn't that be fun? Kids love stickers, and these are something that you can just peel off the back, because I'm going to be using this Stick It adhesive, and it's like got this double sticky stuff on it. So I'm going to stick my pieces onto a chunk of this, and then just trim out that little section. And before I do the trimming, I'm going to put my glossy accents on just because it's going to give me something to hold on to. Otherwise, you'll find yourself trying to hold it in place in some fashion or concocting a way to do that. Now, with glossy accents, if you want to even it out or if you get air bubbles or something or you want to fill in a spot like I just did, then tap on the side of the paper and it, it'll tend to even it out a little bit more. So while those are busy drying, I'm going to color the background. And I stamped my three images, the same ones that I made the stickers out of, just so I could see where they're going to be placed on my card. So I have my scene set already. Make sure your stamps aren't overlapping, because with stickers you're not going to be able to overlap them anyway if they're epoxy stickers. However, if you don't use the last step of doing the glossy accents, that won't really matter, because you'll be able to layer those right on top of each other. So if an ear tucks behind another ear or something, that's not a big deal but here I have them separately across from each other. So I put in some basic color and you see that I get to just color right over top of those little dogs and get this background done really fast. Now obviously this is sped way up, but it does make it a lot easier to not have to color right up to the edge and around the critters while I'm trying to make a detailed scene behind them. And I'm basing this on the dog park that Bennett and Vienna go to all the time that they play at. I've put in my ground and my sky in the background. With Copic marker, if you put enough color on top, you can generally displace the color behind. So if you've got some light colors back there, 
it's really easy to put trees on top of them. And I'm putting them in a variety of colors and I'm going to try to make it so that as you get toward the back you get kind of lighter and dimmer colors, colors that are more desaturated, so grays and things in the very far background and the more intensely colored trees as you get closer up toward the front. And they're also getting smaller out in the back so that you can see off into the distance that we have this whole forest. And I'll use an even lighter color as it goes way further out there. And then just start to fill that in. Now I'm gonna build up the trees in the front by adding on some texture, some wood texture onto the surface of them to give them some bark. And you can use all different kinds of browns. I'm not listing all the colors for this because there's just a bunch of them. Just randomly grabbing colors out of my Copic collection. But you can see they're getting darker toward the front because when you have a scene that's going receding way off into the distance, the darker stuff is going to be right up close to your eyes and everything else will fade. And I've left that the bottom of those trees where they hit the grass, I've left them kind of just with some brush strokes. So all I have to do is add some green brush strokes on top in order to make it look like there's grass sitting at the base of each one of those trees. Just using some light flicking motions with a couple of different grays, or grays, greens, to uh, add the grass. And I wanted to have a little bit of a dirt area that they're sitting in, because if it looked too much like there was grass in front of them, then it would be weird to have the sticker sitting on top of that area. So I'm trying to make the grass look like it's behind them and the dirt is right underneath at their feet. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown to smooth out some of the lines that I had created because sometimes those, those lines just start looking too sketchy and weird. I'm just gonna run over those with a mid-tone color, darken a little of the trees in the background, add some shading under the dogs and a little bit of dirt and rock texture to make it kind of look like they're sitting on a little dirt spot. There are lots of dirt spots dirt spots in the dog park because there's so many dogs that are there all the time. It's a great dog park near my house. Add a little bit more dark grass here and there. Smooth out a little bit of it. And now I'm going to do the fussy cutting. So this is a brand new pair of scissors. I had a pair before that got all chewed up by a certain other puppy. My Giallo ate those scissors. So I bought a new pair. Yay! And then just went and trimmed around each one of my images. And I peeled off the backing from that stick it so that I could just stick it on. Then I'm not forced to have to try to use some glue to do that. And I added my woof you right over top of them. So I made it into a little love card, mounted it on some black cardstock, and you see how cute it came out. And they look like they belong within the scene instead of being just added on top. Isn't it cute? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button down below. You can subscribe by clicking on my face. There's more videos you can watch and a Copic class if you're interested in seeing more about how to color with these markers. And I will talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.